I am indeed honored to be present as your chief guest at this um, Leadership Fiji Graduation Gala Dinner for the alumni of 2023. I recall that the uh, 2022 alumni visited me at the State House last year. And I wish to state that I'm uh, proud of Leadership Fiji because I have always been associated with Leadership Fiji in Madhuata in my capacity as tradition leader and the team of water. On that note, allow me to convey a big vinagabagalevu for the warm welcome accorded this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I wish to thank the board and management of Leadership Fiji for continuing to cultivate the culture and spirit of transformational leadership while molding and influencing our young corporate leaders to be agents of change for worthy causes and to encourage an enriched workforce through its leaders. Leadership is a high calling. I, for one, understand that when I was entrusted with the calling to be Tuimondwata and now being head of state, along with the position and authority comes great responsibility and demands on those of us who hold these positions and provide leadership to others. On the same note, we have uh, leaders present here tonight, like the Honorable uh, Philemon Yvosoromo, and I'm told that uh, NMPS uh, for women, etc. Uh, Kitabuki, who were groomed as part of this alumni can attest to the challenges of being a leader. However, it is always interesting to note that when the subject of leadership is discussed, the focus is centered solely to those individuals in senior positions of power. It is assumed that only they can influence the future of our community and nation. However, I beg to differ, as I have personally experienced that true leaders can make a difference at all levels of society. These individuals include parents, teachers, community workers, and religious leaders, or leaders in the workplace. If we recall, we all have special people in our lives that have inspired and motivated us at critical points in our lives. Con consider this as an uh, imp the impact that it has had on you and multiply it by the number of people they have personally influenced and ultimately ask yourself, who can I help in a similar manner? In simple terms, the successful nation needs leadership at all levels of society. And once again, I find Leadership Fiji program recognizes this. In insisting diversity in each year group, requiring that each year group has participation from different communities, region, and industries. This is critical. And I hope that the program will make even greater efforts to encourage more participation, particularly from public sector organizations. Our world is ever changing in what it demands of us, especially as leaders. You must never allow these con constant changes to influence our resolve to succumb to the pressures of the demand of an ever changing world. In order to endure this time as a leader, you must be of unwavering courage, have integrity, empathy, vision, and positivity. A good leader shall not define themselves being chief among their people. They should lead with the example and show compassion. They shall make wise decisions and equally humble themselves when situations dictate so. Leaders need to be fair in judgment, and most importantly, fear the Lord as believers. As a leader, your subordinates will look to you for clear direction and foresight, as they want to know that you understand where you're leading the team and knowing how to get them there. One of the keys to leadership is self-awareness. It is when you understand your strengths as well as your weakness and you're capitalizing on your strength and improving your weakness. For this, you will be unstoppable. Self-awareness in leadership leads to service leadership, which is the influential ability that occurs once you discover the call on your heart to serve. Then answering the call to lead 
and summon your courage to involve yourself with those you are leading. There is a saying that goes, I quote, it is lonely at the top, unquote. But it does not have to be. You remaining at the top depending, depend on those who work with you and under your control. How effective the team around you is reflects of you as a leader. In other words, we are only strong as our weakest, weakest link. So my humble plea is, be a service leader. If you have not become one, then work on becoming one. Ladies and gentlemen, as leaders, your duties and responsibilities are dictated by company policies, procedures, and other legally binding documents that serve as guide. As the head of state, I am too guided by legal documents that guide my role as the head of state. I understand that your program so far has put into perspective and context attributes of a good leader and the importance of exploring the self-discovery of your own values, philosophies, prejudices, and beliefs in order to develop and enhance the holistic quality of leaders in Fiji. In my humble opinion, I still believe that the development of leaders will remain fundamental to the nation's well-being and equally crucial for the creation of a society that is economically, socially, politically and sustainably successful. Leaders such as yourself will need to continue to strengthen and enhance the ideals of inclusivity and implementation of policies and programs that are of national interest and for the common good of all citizens of our beloved nation. Ladies and gentlemen, a leader's work is not complete if all that is learned and experienced are not shared nor portrayed positively in the community that you are part of. Any sustainable organization requires sustainable leadership. Many good leaders can have the ability to change the strategy and course and of an organization when given the right environment and opportunity. A great leader changes life. As leaders, your responsibility not only lies in your title, it lies more in your influence to affect a positive change, particularly in the lives of those under your leadership. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a father. Tonight, I had asked for an excuse to have to seek your indulgence. Tonight I'm welcoming home my son. I have only one son who's just returned from the Middle East in peacekeeping duties. So I told them, son, this is something important. I have to attend this and deliver this speech because this is something that you will go through in the future. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate Leadership Fiji Alumni 2023. It is with great honor and privilege that I wish you success in your leadership journey. And being that we're in the region of hope, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. May the Almighty God bless you all and bless our beloved nation Fiji.